Hello and welcome to another video of this Power BI Do It Yourself Tutorials. In this video, we're going to talk about waterfall, gauges, funnel, and single number cards. So, like the previous videos, use this file pbidiybdcssales.xlx and click on new page. Let's do that. In the first one, we are going to talk about waterfall. So waterfall is a representation of various categories, how they contribute to the total value. So for example, in this one, department and sales amount, it will show you how various departments contribute to the total sales. Let's take a look at it. So I'm going to select waterfall. This is waterfall chart. Click on department and click on sales amount. And department and sales amount and see how it builds up. Let's do the focus mode. This is the contribution of accounting. This is the contribution of audit, finance and sales department to show the total sales amount or the total revenue. I can change the color here as well. So in here I would go to sentiment colors and increase in the value is depicted by green. You can depict it by red and a decrease in the value if the sales amount is a negative number it can show a different color but at this point in time in the data there is no negative number that would mean decrease and then the total can be shown in let's say a gray color. So this is waterfall chart. We are going to do the same representation of the same data in a funnel chart. So rep representation of this data in a funnel chart. I'm going to add funnel and select the same values department and sales amount. You can see, let me make some space here for funnel chart. You can see the various contributions of accounting, audit, finance and sales here. I want to sort it. So click on this ellipse, say sort by sales amount and the top amount, the, the largest amount is going to be on the top followed by the lower and this would be the lowest. So if this is 100%, the contribution of the lowest is 51.4%. That shows you the contribution of each department. You can change the color of this by clicking here and you can see a value color saturation. Drag and drop sales amount. You can see the color changed. You can go ahead and change different types of colors to be shown here. So the same set of data shown in waterfall and funnel charts. Let's look at the third one. So the funnel chart, we did the same thing. Click on department and sales amount. We looked at the various properties of the chart and we sorted by sales amount. Time to understand the gauge chart. The gauge chart is at least needs two values. And let's see how sales cost and amount are displayed in the gauge, gauge chart. So in the gauge chart here, this is the gauge. Bring it in and add sales cost or select sales cost. Please note the value of the sales cost is 82K for the entire data set. And that is why, let's do the focus mode. So let that's why the whole semicircle is 164K and 82K represents the middle section. But I don't want to do that. I want to compare the sales cost against my amount, sales amount. So cost and amount, the difference between amount and the cost 
is going to give me the the profit so i'm going to drag and drop the sales amount in the maximum value you can see the maximum semicircle value changed from 164k to 92k and this difference this gray section represents my profit that is sales amount the total sales amount minus the cost of the sales i can choose not to do that but represent 92k as a single line as in in a gauge meter so sales amount i'm going to drag in the target value and you can see that the semicircle again went back to 164k while there is a line for 92k the difference between these two is again my profit so these are various options you would see in gate chart obviously you can change the colors here you can say my fill color should be red and my target color should be this red or i can say green like this and this is my red so this was gate chart then i'm going to talk about single number cards so single number cards are just values to display one single fact amount this is my single number card this is my sales amount and it shows 92k now you can see the properties it's very simple you can change the data label color you can change it to red and you want it to the title word wrap if background and stuff like that so this is just to display a value in a single fact value here in a card so having said that let's look at some hands on exercises time to do some hands on exercises so this is a good time to pause the video understand what we have done and then move on diy 10 would tell you to create a waterfall and funnel chart using channel type and sales cost sales cost i would encourage you to use various other columns to understand different functionalities of waterfall and funnel diy 11 create a gauge chart for sales quantity and then create single number card for three single number cards each for sales quantity sales amount and sales cost so this is and make sure you change some colors and background formatting and see how it looks thank you for watching